Hey guys, I'm Ride, and welcome to Cedar Point Week Day 3, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about some of my ride experiences, my first ride experiences at Cedar Point. Um, this is probably going to be a one of two part series on Cedar Point Week, but I don't think I'm going to do every coaster, so I may finish it off later when I have a spare video to make about it. So let's kick things off with Blue Streak, and Blue Streak is the oldest coaster in Ohio, so I was expecting it to be pretty rough. And just a quick background to when I was writing this, um, it had just rained, finished raining, the park had opened like an hour or so ago. Um, we had got there a little late, but that's okay, we still got to have a nice day. So, it was a rainy day, and there had just been a rainstorm that passed, and Blue Streak had opened, and we were like... Well, since we just got in the gate and they're starting to open things back up, let's just get Blue Streak out of the way so we don't have to worry about that later when we're at the back of the park riding the better ride. So we just got this out of the way. Um, the ride ops were really fun on this because while we were waiting for the rain to pass by, which is only like 15 minutes left until the rain passed by, um, they were like doing like roller coaster quiz and it was just really fun. So I'm glad they were doing that. But, let's get into the experience. So, like, my first ride experience, like I said, the setting was raining. And we were going up the lift hill, and I was like, hey, this this really isn't bad for its age. Of course, that was the lift hill. So, the thing I kept comparing it to was the racer. But, of course, it doesn't have a racing side, so it's just one side. They're both made by the same manufacturer. And it, it, it kind of is like the racer, really like the racer. Um, except when you get to the turnaround is where you really start to feel its age come in. And I was, it was a really good ride until then. And I'm not saying it wasn't a good ride, but it was like a classic old wooden coaster ride until we got to the turnaround where we just, it was rough the whole way back. And that was kind of an enjoyable. But that was my first ride experience, of course it was really early in the day, so maybe once I go back and it gets warmed up, we can get some better rides. Next up is Valraven. Um, my first ride experience on Valraven was my only ride experience on Valraven, like every other coaster on today's list, that might change for part 2, so just keep that in mind. So we were in this station, and I am like really excited because Dive coasters have always fascinated me a lot, and I know a lot of people say, oh, they're like one-trick ponies, they can only dive, and that's pretty much it. But I was, I don't know what I was thinking, but I was really looking forward to it. And I'm just going to say right now, I was not let down. Um, from what I was expecting, of course. So, we were in the station, and I really, really, really wanted front row, but um, my friend really was not like ready for this and did not want to go front row so we ended up going in the back row which is kind of fun i guess it's better than being in the middle row because you get a little bit more forces i guess it's fun but i really want to try it in the front row but more talking about the back row when you go over that drop it's kind of forceful because you're in the back row and you just like get yanked over that angle and then you head down, and then it's really kind of just a normal ride. And then the second drop off the mid course is a little bit forceful. Not as forceful as the first drop, but it's okay. And then the only other thing I can remember, like, enjoying about this is that the zero G roll at the end is kind of slow and you get some hang time. But not much because of the vest restraints, so... My first ride experience was really cool, it was really smooth, and I liked it, but I think it would have been a lot better if I got front row, because it's front row on a dive coaster, so you get what I mean. And yeah, that was my first experience on Val Raven, and yeah, so moving on. So my next first ride experience on this today's list is Iron Dragon, and I'm kind of going in order of how we rode them. Just because I, we made our way to the back, and we probably did not do it the most efficient way to get minimal wait times at Cedar Point, but we tried our best, because we were only there, like, we got there a little bit late, and it wasn't, there, it wasn't too crowded, because it was a rainy day, but still, there was some long waits, so, we didn't do it the most efficient way, but this is just how we went, so, um, 
On my first time on Iron Dragon, I was expecting it to be like the bat since it's the same model, but there's a lot of things different than the bat and Iron Dragon. And I just want to touch on those things, like those different things. So Iron Dragon is more scenic than the bat and it was really fun, except the fact that it's kind of old and janky. And that was what I kept thinking throughout my mind during the ride was this is kind of like pretty old and it's kind of like rough and of course you're gonna get that with old coasters but the only thing that like made me think that this was a good ride was it's of course a family coaster and that's pretty fun and then the fact that it goes around the lake and through like the forest or untucked or dragster and everything it just adds to the ride experience making it a lot better but I still like the bat better than Iron Dragon, but that was just my first ride experience. Again, I hope to get later in the season, um, later in the day, some different rides on some different coasters that I wasn't able to, and see if my perspective changes on them, because this is just my first ride experience. So, yeah, that's all I have for Iron Dragon, and moving on to Millennium Force. Um, this is one of my more odd ride experiences. I only rode Millie once because we wanted to get every coaster at least once and we decided to ride Millennium Force. I was not in the front or the back, I was kind of in the middle. We were going up the lift hill and I am at this point am still a little bit afraid of roller coasters. I mean I'll ride them but they still intimidate me and they still intimidate me to this day about riding them but I'll still ride them so I was pretty scared to ride this and about halfway up the lift hill I was like okay this is going this fast when is this thing gonna stop and I still like am kind of debating over which is better Millennium Force or Orion I really think Orion right now but that could change once I get different rides on Millennium Force but once we went down that drop I think Millennium Force is one of my favorite drops um, the only other one I can think of that may be better is Maverick, but when my first thoughts when we went down the drop was, oh my gosh, this is amazing. And apparently I was screaming. I don't remember screaming that much, but like all my other friends on the thing said that I was screaming, but you know, I really don't remember that. I didn't pass out though, so that was good. Not that I would pass out Millennium Force because people say it's forceless. But the drop is the main thing of the ride, and that is really, really fun. Uh, the other layout comes with some, the other part of the layout comes with some hills and turns, and that's pretty fun with the high speed you're at, but nothing like memorable from there. So, when we, my other favorite part was going like really fast past the station and through the queue, and that was really fun, and I really kind of liked that. So, those, that's my first experience on Millennium Force, my only experience on Millennium Force. But yeah, that's all I have for you in this video, and thank you guys so much for watching. It, I hope you guys really enjoyed, and I hope to make a part 2 on this, because it's kind of cool to share my first ride experience with you guys. So, And like I said before, later this year I'll have some extra chances to ride them in different places and throughout the day, and get some different rides on them and hopefully be able to change my opinions on them because we were just trying to get every ride in the park done at least once before we started rewriting but yeah so thank you guys for watching and that's all i have for you guys today and just keep in mind this was cedar point week day three because we were trying to get in the cedar point spirit because cedar point opens this weekend so that is always a fun time when cedar point opens so I hope you guys enjoyed, and that's pretty much all I have to say. This is Eleanor Ride, signing off.